Preceded by the household cavalry, the Irish coach sweeps through the wide gates of Buckingham Palace into the processional route to Westminster. For the first time in ten years, Parliament opens with full ceremonial pageantry. Before the arrival of the King, the traditional search of the house is carried out by the Yeoman of the Guard. Gentlemen at arms stand by as the crown is carried into the House of Lords. Members of the House of Commons hurry to their places at the opening of the last pre-election session. In this, the first great controversy is steel. The government intends to bring iron and steel under public ownership, claiming that as the backbone of British industrial prosperity, it should not be in the hands of private enterprise. The opposition argues that nationalisation will wreck the great undertaking which monthly sets new records, inevitably slowing down other great industries vital to Britain's export trade. The core of the government's case is given by Ian Mercado, MP for Reading. The steel industry must be owned by the nation if we are to get the best out of it. Though it's doing pretty well now, this will be no more than a flash in the pan if we don't reorganise the industry to get rid of bottlenecks and create higher efficiency. At the Lord's entrance, distinguished guests mingle with the peers. Through the passage of the Parliament Bill, the government will curtail the Lord's veto authority, a move which it declares is completely unrelated to the Steel Bill. On this, ex-Chancellor Viscount Simon says... It is now perfectly clear, in spite of denials to the contrary, that the government's Parliament Bill has been devised for the express purpose of making sure that the nationalisation of the iron and steel industry shall be carried out before the next general election. The inference I draw is that they want to carry out this nationalisation without further consulting the people of this country because they don't expect to win the next general election. The four greys swing the royal coach into Parliament Square. His Majesty bears a speech announcing the introduction of 20 bills during the session. Yet for those who watch, the atmosphere of an approaching election is intermingled with the pageantry.